We started out this tournament with 160 teams, and we are now down to the final 32. Once again, the yearly tradition has come to its finale. Welcome, everyone, to the 2022 Global Trophy Finals. I'm joined alongside Sam Elliott, 64. Yeah, it's been quite the year this year. It's been so many twists and turns. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of shock results, new winners, old hands returning to the top. I can't wait for this. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, it is. And just to prove that it's been such a shocking year, five of these 32 are making their Global Trophy Finals debut. Yeah, we only have three of our seven, six, seven champions from the past. Yeah, three well. of our seven previous winners. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, we've had a new winner from Europe, we've had a new winner in Africa. It's just been absolutely crazy. Yep, we've seen returns of big juggernauts as well, like Australia and Argentina. Rise back to the top as well. It's been it's been a hell of a year, and I'm, I, I'm sure we're going to have an absolutely thrilling conclusion to this year's Global Trophy. So let's not dilly-dally any further. Let's see who is going to be the 2022 Global Trophy Champion. Let's begin. So we kick off with our dud team representing the Americas. It will be Honduras. Yeah, their first global trophy appearance. And on FIFA rankings, I mean, we have to check because it was so close. They lost out on FIFA ranking by five ranks to the team above them. So yes, very unlucky. Um, yes, and also, obviously, people who, want, uh, who don't know, uh, on this, we run the dud team on... Essentially, the furthest they've ever been in the Global Trophy Finals. Then followed by how many times they've achieved this feat. And then finally, if there's still a tie, Global Trophy appearances. If there's still a tie after that, it goes to FIFA rankings. Teams that either won, uh, got to the finals, or got to the semi-finals of their respective continental qualifiers are exempt from being the dud. Correct, because obviously they've won more games, so they automatically get a little boost to their, uh, their score. So, for example, this year Comoros made their first ever finals and are really low ranked, but because they won Africa, it means that they're exempt, so hence Honduras. Yeah. So, next up, representing Europe, first timers in the Global Trophy Finals, it's Slovenia. Skin of their teeth stuff for Slovenia, but yep, they're here for the first time ever. Well, congratulations to them. Next up, representing Africa, also making it to the first Global Trophy Final, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, it surprises me that, actually. I thought they'd done more than that, but no, they're, they're, they are they are here for the first time, and well done to them. No, ordinary Congo have made it to uh, a Global Trophy Final before. The Democratic Republic, though, have not. That has now changed. Yep, representing Asia, semi-finalist in the Asian section. And also, making their debut in the Global Trophy Finals, it's Bahrain. Yeah, Bahrain had a decent run this time, didn't they? And for the first time as well, that surprised me too. I thought they would have made at least one, but no, this is their first time in the Global Trophy Finals. So, yeah, can't wait to see how they get on. Yeah, and finally, the team that everyone's talking about. The winners. <laughs> Still can't believe this. The winners of the Africa section this is year. A, is a European making... team. <laughs> Making their debut in the Global Trophy Finals is Comoros, being represented by Lithuania. They won the preliminary league with over 100 goals scored. They won the Africa section, beating Cameroon along the way. What a story. Can they go all the way again? I don't think so. They're going to be able to get some stiff competition, but to be honest... Africa's competition is still pretty good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they beat Cameroon, who have been finalists in the Global Trophy on two occasions. Yeah, exactly. Next up, making their second appearance in the Global Trophy Finals, Barbados. Yeah, of course, preliminary league qualifiers have made it all the way through to the main competition, the Global Trophy Finals. Let's see how they get on. Next up, representing Africa, also making it through to their second Global Trophy Finals, it is Zambia. That shock win over Nigeria as well, wasn't it? it beat them on penalties to get to the semi-finals of the African section. Yep, and both Barbados and Zambia, Marzo mentioned, their only previous appearance here. They made it 
Well, essentially, they got knocked out first time, round I one. Say, I want to say Barbados was a dud once upon a time. Might have been, yeah. Next up, representing Asia. It is Tajikistan. Yep, only their second appearance in the Global Trophy Finals. And the previous time they were here, they were eliminated in the round of 32. Yep, round one for them. Next, making their third appearance in the Global Trophy Finals. It's Venezuela. Surprises me that as well. I thought I would have thought they would have made more, but of course you have to remember once upon a time only four teams from the Americas made it through. So Venezuela wouldn't have had those opportunities. Yeah, but now they do and they'll be appearing they'll be appearing in their third global trophy finals. Um their last two appearances knocked out in round one both times. Yeah. Next up, last year's dud team has made it again. Now three time global trophy finalists. It's Angola, and they're not the dud team this time, representing Africa. They're not, no, and they are here to hopefully actually compete. You never know, they might end up getting a, maybe a round further. Maybe. Uh, well, obviously the last two uh, attendances they've made into the Global Trophy Finals, knocked down round one on both occasions. Next up, representing Asia. This is their fifth Global Trophy Finals, and they've made it to one round two before. It's Kuwait. Yeah, Kuwait uh, did pretty well, didn't they? They obviously <laughs> pre-qualified this year, and they ended up going through to the finals as well. So good effort from Kuwait. A, a solid year, I think you can, you can say that much. Uh, yep, yeah. uh, fifth global trophy final for Kuwait there. Next up, they are representing Africa in their sixth global trophy finals. It's Kenya. Yeah, Kenya also pre-qualifying. Didn't win the African pre-qualification section because, of course, uh, Lithuania representing Comoros got that honour. But they did finish a, a runaway second, I believe, is how Chris described it. <laughs> yes, I, I, I still would. Um, yep, in their five appearances, they've only made it past round one twice, being knocked out in the round of 16. Yep. Next up, representing Asia, making it to their third Global Trophy Finals. It's Iraq. Yeah, Iraq did pretty well, didn't they, in the Asian section, making it through to the top eight. Uh, I want to say they beat a big team along the way, but I can't remember who it was. I uh, believe so, yes. They ended up as semi-finalists in, um, in the Asia section. Good result for Iraq. Yep, and in their last two appearances in the Global Trophy Finals, they have not failed to reach the round of 16 both times. So he pressures on to maintain that record. <laughs> Next up, representing Europe. In their third Global Trophy Finals, it's Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine making it through to the round of eight, just enough to get themselves into the Global Trophy Finals once again. Yep, and in their last three appearances in the Global Trophy Finals, this would be their fourth, um, they again never failed to reach round two before. So again, pressure's on to maintain that record. Next up, representing... Not them. <laughs> representing Asia, <laughs> making it to their sixth Global Trophy Finals, the UAE. Yep, former finalists in the Asian section. In fact, I think they did this year, <laughs> didn't they? Uh, yes, it would have been. Uh, it would have been this year. Yeah, they yes. lost out uh, to Australia. Yeah, a, a solid Asian team, the UAE. Um, intriguing to see how they deal with the uh, the spotlight once again. Yep, and um, in their last. Four appearances in the Global Trophy Finals. Sorry, in the last five appearances in the Global Trophy Finals. They have made it to round two on three separate occasions. Yep, so good team as well. Next up, representing South America, making it to their eighth Global Trophy Finals. It's four-time round of 16 dropouts, Ecuador. Former America's section champions, and this year, America's section semi-finalists losing out to Colombia. A good team, Ecuador. Yep, so this will be their eighth Global Trophy Finals. Four times they've made it past the first round, but not further than round two. Next up, it's the Global Trophy Final Legends, the record holders, going to their 17th Global Trophy Finals. It's Australia. Is it their 17th? Or is it their 16th? 
It's a, it's a 17th. Yeah, because this, this is the 18th, but it's been 17 years. I'm with you. I've got it. Yeah. I've got it in my head. 17 finals for Australia. Mental. Um, and of course, they won the Asian section this year for a record equaling fourth time. Yep, in those 16 previous appearances in the Global Trophy Finals, Australia have been knocked out in round one nine times, but have made it to round two on seven occasions, but never further. No, they've this always... This team has made it to every single Global Trophy Finals, bar one. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And the fact that they only ever made it to the round of 16, it surprised me a little bit, but there you go. Australia, work to do. Next up, making it to their seventh Global Trophy Finals, it's runner-up of Europe, the Czech Republic. Yeah, former European champions almost made it two in five years, but didn't quite have the muscle to beat Germany. A good team, the Czech Republic. Yeah, Czech Republic on the way to get here, beat England on penalties. Thanks for reminding us all, Chris. They did. <laughs> it happened. You can't tell me it didn't. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many Scottish people watch this. So, Let's go. there you Let's go. go Whitey. One, one for the Scots to laugh at. Yeah, but I, um, I'll, laugh, I'll laugh at Patrick Schick scoring from the halfway line against Scotland in Euro 2020. How he said that? it, not me. Don't dislike the video. <laughs> um, Czech Republic have, in their last six appearances in the Global Trophy Finals, they have actually made it into the top eight, but only once. These, yes. This team is a former one-time quarter finalist. Yep, they're a good team, Czech Republic. You shouldn't take them lightly. Next up... <laughs> so next up, speaking of runners-up in uh, qualifying, representing Africa, the runners-up of the Africa section. Not Djibouti, the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast must have been absolutely counting their lucky stars. They, you know, Nigeria were out. Of course, Lithuania ended up beating Cameroon, but they weren't expecting to lose out in the final to Lithuania, representing Comoros, and they still go on searching for their first ever African section championship. Yep, Ivory Coast have made the Global Trophy Finals nine times. This will be their record. This will be their tenth. Um, they are also one-time quarter finalists in their best run. Good team, Ivory Coast. Watch out for them. Next up, representing Asia, quarter finalists in the Asian section and making it to their thirteenth Global Trophy Finals. It's former Asia section winners, Japan. Yeah, two-time Asian winners, and obviously won it last year in 2021. Japan are a serial finalist making team and they have of course they've been also lost in the 2019 final didn't they to China uh, in Asia but they are a good side Japan of course, of course have made the quarterfinals in the past let's see how they get on here yep only once they've made it to the quarterfinals of the global trophy finals in 12 appearances there you go next representing Europe it's the shockers for the finals one of the oddest finalists, but whenever they're in, you know that shockers are about to happen. Making it to their fourth Global Trophy Finals, it's semi-finalists in Europe, Norway. Norway have previously won the European section back in 2013. This year they had to pre-qualify, I think. Was that correct? Um, I'm pretty certain they didn't, know. Was it? I can't remember. Well, anyway, Norway, good team. Last week, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Good old Norway. We like Norway, don't we? Yep, Norway have made it to three previous Global Trophy Finals. On two occasions, they've made it into the top eight. Yep, so they generally do quite well once they actually get into the Global Trophy Finals. It's just getting there is the problem. Yep, definitely. Next up, representing Europe, making it to their second Global Trophy Finals, it's Belgium. Belgium, of course, the number one FIFA-ranked team in the world. But uh, in terms of the Global Trophy, they never really have much success until this year they eliminated the four-time champions France on penalties in the first round. Yep, and Belgium have only made it to the Global Trophy finals once, but they made the most of it, and they made it all the way to the semi-finals in their first appearance. Can history repeat itself here for Belgium? Never know. <clears throat> Next up, Serial. Global Trophy appearances for this team eight times now. They've entered the Global Trophy Finals. It's semi-finalists of the Americas. Representing the Americas, the USA. Yeah, the USA, a good team as well. They've always, always been very good in the America section, especially since the format change a few years ago. They tend to do quite well. Um, yeah, former semi-finalists in the Global Trophy in the past as well. 
yet only once they've made it to the Global Trophy semi-finals. Next up, representing the Americas, making it to the 12th Global Trophy Finals, it's Colombia. They're on a good vein of form, aren't they, Colombia? It wouldn't surprise me to see them in the Champion of Champions come the end of the year, would it? Because they have been very consistent over the past four years. They've made it to the Global Trophy Finals each time, and this year they made the America section final. Yep, Colombia have made it to the last three quarterfinals in the Global Trophy, but in those 11 appearances, they have actually made it to the semi-finals once. Good team, Colombia. Watch out for them. Dark horses. Next up, representing Asia. Making it to their 14th Global Trophy Files. The road doesn't get any easier for any of these minnows. It's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia in the past have, all, have obviously beaten former Global Trophy Champions Germany to get to the semi-finals of the uh, Global Trophy Finals. And of course, they are equal with Australia for the most Asian section wins with four. Yep, as Sam said, former semi-finalist very recently is I want to say best it was performance so far. 2018 or 19, I think. I can't remember which year it was. Next up, the rest of these teams have made it to the finals before. And we kick off, making it to only their third Global Trophy Finals. Bulgaria are back in the finals. Bulgaria, of course, did pre-qualify. I know that for sure. Um, yep. they, they didn't win the preliminary league, but they have made it through to this stage. And of course, as Chris mentioned, former finalist in the Global Trophy back in whatever year it was. I think it was 2006, I think, I think it might have been. Yeah, so over 15 years ago now. Yep, but they are former runners-up, and this will be their third bite of the cherry. Next up, representing Africa. One of the big guns of Africa making it to their 14th Global Trophy Finals, Nigeria. Yeah, eight-time winners of the, uh, sorry, eight? Seven. Seven-time winners of the African section. Nigeria also are the current runners-up in the Global Trophy Champion of Champions. They nearly took home that crown. They've obviously made the final as well in the Global Trophy proper. A absolutely legendary team. Yep, only once they've made it to the finals, the final two to lose out. Next up, also representing Africa, making it to their 12th Global Trophy Finals. It's semi-finalist of Africa this year, but a big powerhouse here in Africa, Cameroon. Yep, they've won the African section five times in total as well. I mean, Cameroon are just the team, aren't they? They're just an absolute beast of a team, and both big guns from Africa are both here, so it's exciting to see. Yep, Cameroon have made it to 11 previous Global Trophy Finals, and they finished runner-up twice. Lots of pedigree. Next up, making it to their 13th Global Trophy Finals. It's always the bridesmaid and never the bride, representing Europe. It's the current Euro 2020 champions, Italy. Italy have won the European section a grand total of five times. They've made the finals in the Global Trophy on three occasions, each time losing. They are one of the best teams, that, are, and they're probably the best team that haven't won the Global Trophy, to be quite honest. I'd Maybe it's their year. That, yeah. Maybe best it's their year. Never, best team to never win the Global Trophy. Yeah, I think so. Next up, we get to our three winners. And first off, representing England, making it to their 10th Global Trophy Finals. It's former Global Trophy Champions, Germany. You said representing England. Chris. Oh, sorry. <laughs> England. Representing Europe, Germany. Germany. Former well, we, did, winners... we, did, we did own half of it for a bit, to be fair. This is true. This is true. Uh, Germany, former winners back in 2013 and the current European champions for the first time in their history. They're on a good run, Germany. Can yep, they maintain it? Could certainly go all the way to get a second Global Trophy, but yep, as Sam said, they've won the Global Trophy once in their previous nine appearances. Yep. Next up, the top two, both representing the Americas, because of course they are. First up, Two-time Global Trophy Champions making it to their 10th Global Trophy Finals and the first in four years. It's Brazil, the current Global Trophy uh, 
Champions of champions. <laughs> champions of champions. Uh, Brazil have won the Global Trophy on two occasions, 2010 and 2014. One of the biggest teams in the in the whole of the game. Unbelievable. We all know Brazil. It's nice to see them back in the Global Trophy yeah. Finals. It feels right to have them back, doesn't it? And last but not least, the favourite. The 109 victories in the Global Trophy. Never failed to reach a Global Trophy quarterfinals. Three-time winners of the Global Trophy and making it to their 14th Global Trophy finals. The red-hot favourite, Argentina. Can anyone stop them? I mean, they've just won their 10th America section. You know, what, what can anyone do? What can anyone do? Can anyone actually do anything to stop them? It, they have been stopped on multiple occasions before, but it's taken a lot to beat them. It's taken big teams to do it, hasn't it? Damn it. <sighs> we'll be right back, folks. <laughs> of course, it's... Of course, every single one it's been. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the system doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. But why? Ugh. All right. Honduras. There we go. Lovely. Ooh. Right. So we are back and we got some interesting matches here. We really Kick do. Up with round one. Norway and Cameroon to start things off. Yep, Norway and Cameroon to kick things off here. Cameroon's gone already! Norway have won there. The former European champions through to the top 16. Two-time quarterfinals looking to make it three in four for Norway. They will take on the winner of the next match. A big hitter, Brazil. Former champions on two occasions. They take on the United Arab Emirates. Brazil through to the second round, 2-0. Good result for Brazil there. They go through to the round of 16. Barbados, one of the lowest ranked teams in this competition, take on Nigeria. Yeah, a, a pre-qualifier taking on a several serial African champion. Yep, and now 14-time global trophy appearance. 2-0 Nigeria, they're through. So far, all the big names through with the exception you'd probably say of Cameroon, wouldn't you? Yeah, but Norway are always shockers here. We we mentioned this in the selection. This, this doesn't true. surprise me at all. No, true enough, true enough. Colombia versus the versus Ukraine next. For a spot against Nigeria in the round of 16. Ukraine are through, Colombia! Have, the streak's been broken! Oh, what a shame for the Americas runners-up. Ukraine coming big there with a penalty win to take them through to face Nigeria. Yep, they've equaled their best performance. That's now four in four for the Ukraine. Good effort from them. Saudi Arabia now. Semi-finalists before. Take on Comoros in their first appearance. Lithuania represented them once again as their FIFA rankings denote. And out go Comoros in round one. Saudi Arabia through to round two. The African champions go home in the round of 32. That's a bit of a shame. And next up is our dud team Honduras. They take on... The world number one, Belgium. Belgium, who will get a bye into round two. Former semi-finalists in the Global Trophy before, so... Not to, be, not to be unexpected, I suppose, but this is only their second appearance, you know, in the Global Trophy finals. But it's exciting for them. They will get another round into the round of 16. Yep, against Saudi Arabia, who are prone to being defeated. They are, but again, you know, they're both they're all good teams so far. <coughs> have, we, have we seen? They're all very solid. Yep. Which could mean we have, like, teams like uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, Bahrain, Slovenia, all in the bottom bracket. Yeah, and Germany down there by themselves with no previous winners. But Italy haven't been showing up either yet. Yep. Japan, Kenya next. Yep, the former Asian champions taking on Kenya, who pre-qualified this year. Japan through, 3-0. And now our red-hot favourites, Argentina, taking on a pre-qualifier in Bulgaria. Yeah, Bulgaria have made it far before, but Argentina have knocked them out. 1-0. Good result there for Argentina. They move on to the round of 16 to take on Japan. The Democratic Republic of Congo take on Kuwait. Kuwait's only made it around two once so far in their four appearances. This, of course, this is Democratic Republic of Congo's first ever appearance. 
Kuwait through to their second round of 16. Good result for Kuwait there, through to the round of 16. Next up, Tajikistan take on the European runners-up, Czech Republic. Czech Republic probably the favourites here, Tajikistan only in their second Global Trophy Finals. 4-0 win for Tajikistan there. Look at this as well, Slovenia will take on Angola for a place Angola. in the top 16. Angola made it to round, so one of these teams is going to make it to the uh, round 16 for the first time in their history. Angola's been here twice, this is Slovenia's first time. Angola's through to round two. Big result for Angola there. They will take on, well, the winner of their next match, which is the USA and the Ivory Coast. Yep, semi-finalists of the Americas versus runners-up of the African section. And out go the runners-up. USA through to another second round. Good result for the USA there. They go through to play Angola in the next round. Venezuela versus Italy. Italy, one of the big dogs here, aren't they, surely? Three times runners-up. Venezuela have made it to two global trophies before. Round one knockouts each time. And they've been knocked out again. 7-0. Massive result. And they will play the winner of our next match. The European or Asian champions. Germany or Australia. Big crunch match here. Win for Germany. And Australia once again failed to make it further than round two. In fact, they didn't even make it past round one. This is their 10th defeat in the round of 32. Zambia now will battle Ecuador. This for a place in the round of 16. Ecuador's through. Penalties decided in for Ecuador through to round two for the fifth time. Yep, and they will play the winner of our final round of 32 fixture, Bahrain or Iraq. Iraq have made it to two round twos before. In their only two appearances, Bahrain is their debut. Iraq's through, 2-1. Yep, three out of three for Iraq, and they move on to the round of 16, and it is looking pretty spicy, if you ask me, in the round of 16. Yep, out go all of the teams making their debuts in the Global Trophy Finals. It's true. Norway, the Shockers of past, versus Brazil, a team possibly back on form. Can they do it? Barely! Brazil through! To the round of eight, the quarterfinals. A good result for Brazil, and that is a massive monkey off their back. And out go Norway. A solid performance this year. Nigeria. 14 times they've made it in the Global Trophy Finals. Former runners up. They take on Ukraine. Nigeria through as well. Nigeria Brazil quarterfinals. That is a massive crunch match, isn't it? Next up, Saudi Arabia, former semi-finalists in the Global Trophy Finals. Belgium, former semi-finalists in the Global Trophy Finals. One of these teams going to make it to the quarters. It's going to be a good match, this one. It's Saudi Arabia, 2-0. Belgium, the number one ranked team, are out. Japan now. One of the biggest Asian teams versus, possibly, definitely, the biggest team in the tournament. It's Japan, Argentina. Argentina through to another quarterfinals. Every They've time. They've done it again 14 Every... times in it's the quarterfinals un... now. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? They're just so consistent. That is their 111th win in the global trophy. Kuwait now. Made Take it on... to round two before. Can they go one further? Czech Republic have made it to the quarterfinals once. This for a place in the quarterfinals. It'll either be Kuwait or Czech Republic. <coughs> Runners up of Europe. They've done it again. Their second time in the quarterfinals. Good result for Czech Republic there. And they will play the winner of our next match. Angola for the first time. Going through to round two. The round of 16. But they take on a very good America. Yep. Former semi-finalist America. Through. 2-0. Big crunch match coming up now. Yep, the top two teams from from Europe, you have to say. I know, of course, in fact, they're the only two teams from Europe, apart from Czech Republic. Germany, the European champions. Italy, the several-time European champions. And, of course, serial runners-up. Germany's gone! Germany's out! This could be at least chance! Italy through to the quarter-finals, the round of eight, where they will take on either Ecuador or Iraq. Ecuador have made it to four round twos, never further. 
Iraq have made it to two round twos. Never further. One of these two is going to be in the quarterfinals, and it's Ecuador that's done it. Ecuador have made it through, which means we are down to our top eight. That's filth. Wow. So we've got. That is filthy. That is jeez. We have two European teams, one African team, one Asian team, and three South American teams. So we got Brazil. No, sorry, sorry, no, I'll take it back. We have four American teams. Look at that. We have USA in there as well. Yeah. Brazil, Nigeria first up. Not an easy one to call this, but Brazil are probably the favourites. Brazil through 1-0. Out goes Africa first. Yep, and Asia could follow very quickly here. They, It's Saudi Arabia, the final Asian team standing, taking on the powerhouses, Argentina. Argentina through, it's Argentina, Brazil in the semis again. Out goes Saudi Arabia. And Asia follows with them. It is a crunch match in the semi-finals, but we have another semi-final to decipher here. Czech Republic taking on the USA. At least in the finals, we have one team. We will have one team that has never won the global trophy, so there's a chance for a new winner. And Czech Republic beat USA! The furthest they've ever made it, the Czech Republic. And they make it through to the semi-finals of the Global Trophy. The European runners-up. Can they make it Italy now? Always the bridesmaids, never the bride. They take on Ecuador. Who have, who, this is the furthest that Ecuador's gone as well. Yeah, respect to Ecuador, but it's going to be a big ass to beat the former European champions. 6-1 Italy! They're looking strong! A massive result for Italy. They move into the semi-finals. So we will have one South American team taking on one European team in the final. Brazil, Argentina. Of course it had to come down to this, didn't it? Again. Argentina got the better of them in the local brackets. Can Brazil turn it around? Yes, they, they can! can! Argentina's gone! Unbelievable! Brazil, they've been gone for four years, but they're in the final now! Will they take on Czech Republic? Or will they take on Italy in the finals? You'd have to say Italy the favourites, but Czech Republic have been on such a good run here. They're on fire! Czech Republic in the finals! So Brazil have the opportunity here to win their third global trophy. Or will it be the star surprise package? Czech Republic, the European runners-up, the former European champions. Czech Republic win the global trophy! What has just happened? What on earth has happened there? <laughs> I'm For speechless. the seventh year in a row, Europe win the global trophy, but I don't think we... I think out of all of them, this is the biggest shock. Honestly, I didn't think... Czech get Republic, <laughs> a I team... Didn't that before this appeared in six global trophies only, only making it to the quarterfinals once, and now in a probably the most biggest surprise we've ever seen in the global trophy, Czech Republic, <laughs> runners-up of Europe, are now global trophy champions of 2022. I can't. <laughs> like, remember when Portugal won? And we couldn't believe that Portugal came from nowhere to win. This is on another level. This it's... is even more on a level. Look at Czech Republic's run, though. They they beat the USA. They beat Italy. They beat Brazil. You can't say they had an easy run, can you? No, they, they earned it. And Argentina again. Look at that. Losing out to Brazil when it mattered the most. Italy again getting close to the Global Trophy Finals, but... Just not getting enough, but the big story here. I thought it was going to be Brazil's return to form, but no. The Czech Republic. I will say this again for everyone who is open-mouthed watching the video. Czech Republic are global trophy champions. It is Honestly, unbelievable. Like, we said it was going to be spectacular. We thought it, there might be some twists and turns. I don't think we ever predicted this. Proof that miracles can happen. <laughs> that is proof of that.
The Czech Republic? What on earth? They've had a brilliant run, to be fair, all throughout this uh, campaign. They have. Second place in Europe. Yeah, they lost one game, and they lost in yep. the final of Europe, and that was it. Yep, and they've gone on, pretty much. They have won nine matches in this. Nine! And what a, what a story. The Czech Republic go level now with Germany on one global trophy each, and they, I'm fairly sure that's going to almost certainly get them into the champion of champions at the end of the year. Definitely. I think Czech Republic, if they hadn't already, have essentially solidified their spot in the champion of champions. But, folks... What, can I just what? say, before, before we finish off as well... Yep. England lost to the eventual winners again. Yep. I don't believe it. <laughs> yep. This could have been England here. Uh, no, it, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> no, it, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> Could've but it been. could. But it's not. It could have been. But we thought Brazil was going to be on a tear. We thought the favourites, Argentina, would go all the way. We thought Italy would finally win the global trophy. But I don't think anyone expected this. Czech Republic are the 2022 global trophy champions in what has been an outstanding nine weeks of this series. I think this Folks, is the best one we've ever done. I really do. This has been the most exciting one. Is This one's been nuts. I'm going to rest my voice. I'm a mass draft. Up in Samuel at 64. And when it comes to the global trophy, we'll see you in November for the Champion of Champions 2022. We'll see you then.